Good evening, everybody. Good evening. It is much later than anticipated, but we wanted to explain to you what just happened to our plans because everyone's, we get questions about like, how do you park in the resort all the time or we didn't know that was allowed. How are you allowed to do that? And we always say like, it's really up to security because technically they very have every right to say, no, you can't park here, but they can also say, yes, you can. And what, and most of the time for us, they say, yes, we just say what we're doing and they say yes or no based on how busy it is. But our plan tonight was to go walk around Fort Wilderness or the plan was to drive around Fort Wilderness campgrounds to see any decorated campsites for Christmas. Um, so we went there and two security guards were there and they said, no can do, we're a hard close, you're not allowed in. And I was like, but we can just, like we're just gonna drive around. And they're like, no, we're on a hard close tonight. So what we did is we drove over to Wilderness Lodge and the woman just looked at my ID, didn't even ask a question and waved us through. So we're gonna take the boat, long story short, from Wilderness Lodge to Fort Wilderness. So I wanted to get the, a fix of uh, vacation vibes. So we came in uh, the Fort Wilderness gift shop and we put, we're gonna pick up these two, these two mini doggy bowls. Aurora better not come in here. What? I said Aurora better not come <gasps> in here. Oh no. Yeah, we're coming. I will say Fort Wilderness is always, and Wilderness Lodge, but mostly Fort Wilderness, has always impressed me with their merchandise they sell. Like, look at this. Why? And then this is the creme de la creme. Always wanted one of these chairs. Me and Sarah, we're gonna get them one day. But like they got the Fort Wilderness on them. They got the pockets on the side. Little side table with hold your little pop right there. Sarah, I gotta confess. What? I'm super jealous of all those people over there. I would throw our diet to the winds <laughs> if we were going in that building right over there. I came to a conclusion in the gift shop that I didn't say out loud. I feel like people are about Fort Wilderness the same way that people are about Old Key West. Like, like they're if proud. They're gonna stay here. Like this is where they've stayed through and through. They I got mean, traditions. obviously, every once in a while, people just come here to check it out. But just like being in that shop and like the vibe of everybody. It's awesome. I like that kind of stuff because then you have like yeah. generations. But look at this cool tree. It's generations, and it's also like a loyalty that yeah. I appreciate. Wow. There's the holiday sleigh ride. Yeah. 25 minute ride, $84. Up to four, I think. Yeah, up to four. Wanna know the secret? The uh, the discount to the $84 holiday sleigh ride? Hmm. The foot tour. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. We think that it goes down this aisle here that's decorated by, we think, by Disney. And then it, I think goes by some decorated. And then I think I think this part is Disney, and then it goes by decorated campgrounds, because they can't like guarantee those campgrounds being decorated. So I was immediately immediately proven wrong because I thought all of these were by Disney, and that the horse-drawn carriages were gonna come over here. Golf cart. Golf cart. It's all lit up. Look at eat, Papa, eat, eat, Mr. Claus. This is a big elf on the shelf. I've never seen a blow-up elf on the shelf. Ooh, they got some good ones over here. Look at this nativity blow up. Look, at there's a big old Olaf. Peace, hope, and droid. Peace, hope, and droid. Okay, so confession. Sarah and I are not the biggest fans of these kind of decorations for your house. Just like we like we more classic. We are. But if they looked like this, I think I'd be more keen to being open to loving them. Trying to be something it's not. Oh, I hear the click clacking. You hear the the jingle bells, jingle bells. Cause there's a different sleigh ride right here. I wonder how many there are. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is hilarious. It looks like it's just on. I wonder if they made this. No. You think they did? No. Whoa. That is cool. And that decorated. 
golf carts that they definitely brought themselves. Super cool. They even put lights on their palm tree back there that's part of the earth. I mean, I like you guys and all, but you are in the wrong place, my friends. We keep going through stages of being in the Blair, Blair Witch Project, but then we see a campground. Whoa, some of these golf, golf carts are super fast. But then we get to a place like this, with just your friendly neighborhood Pumpkin King. What's this? What's this? What's what this? this oh my god. <gasps> oh. He's got his vacation drink and all. Oh, look at these. They have an Elsa. They got the Mickey and Minnie. I'm excited for this one up here. Wow. This is commitment. Look at this tree. This trailer says Merry Christmas. These little mice. Santa just popped out of that. Oh my God, Santa popped out of that one too. Season's greetings, popcorn by the snowman. Oh, the world's best caddy, it's an elf. Santa Claus going golfing. Look at this hippie Santa. That, that's awesome. And hippie elves. That is, that's my favorite so far. Look at this giant wreath on the front of this RV with Mickey and Minnie on there. Adorable. So I keep doing these goofy dance moves, but it's super dark whenever we're not by campgrounds. So I don't know if any of them are showing up on the camera. This is frozen taking over his <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I hear creatures and critters right now. Do you hear that? Yes. We are gonna get snatched up by the See, boogeyman. Like, when we stayed at Wilderness Lodge, remember we like went outside because we were like, we hear stuff and then we realized that it was like It was I, fake. It was I was gonna say it a little bit nicer. It was coming through the speakers. But here? Nope. These are just This is real. Life. This is just all we see right now. No, so this right here. It's probably the best Santa that we've seen tonight, just because of size. And there's a family over there with with a giant projective screen playing Avatar and a nice fire going on. Like, we need to go make friends with them. Oh my god, I like the BB-8, but what I love more is this really nice wooden sign, home away from a home. Look, at there's even a baby With the little, house. is there? <gasps> there is. They just got some great stuff over here. This is definitely, like you were saying before, like a proud establishment of a resort. <laughs> They've got carolers in their windshield. I'll tell you, this is a lot of fun. We should do this one year. Like, like I think we should do this once we have like a house and then we start buying some decorations. Little toy soldiers. But you can't have Santa's toy shop without Mickey's hot cocoa. This might take second prize of the night. A little doggy. Sorry, Eve, we didn't get to bring you. We planned on it, but it, it like just the fate. Something told us not to bring her, and then it would have worked out. Like it worked yeah, out the way because we would have to go home because they didn't let us park at, at Fort Wilderness. They wouldn't let us park at the Wilderness Lodge with her and take the boat over. This first prize for classic. This wins best golf cart. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> win. There's a blanket on the back with icicles with a Mickey. The snowman on the blanket has a Mickey ears, and then there's a. Igloo up here with a penguin fishing for another penguin. And no, look at that. Oh, and the other penguin's just trying to eat it. All right, the only reason why this right here does not beat the one with the pop out Santa's is because of accessibility issues. <laughs> because they, their campsite's actually on the opposite side. They are in front of a road right here. So it's definitely a good curb appeal. Probably the best curb presentation. Yeah. But we are on I a like main road. Classic. Yeah, I do like that classic. It's like a train conductor classic Mickey with a candy cane. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. And there's Mickey as Santa. There's Mickey as Santa with Pluto pulling the, the sleigh. That's sweet. That is so sweet. We found our way to the, back to the beach. Right over there is Magic Kingdom. There's a Christmas party going on. So you know what that means? Fireworks. Yes, and we made the conscious decision to sit on these chairs right here, which if you can't tell from the glare right there, are covered in a nice fine layer of sand and lots of moisture. Yep, you got that right everybody. We just sat down on these chairs knowing that we were about to get soaked and sandy. Not too terrible though, I'm already okay. Um, I'm not, I don't think. But I'll be okay. But we're just gonna relax for the next half hour until, um, Holiday wishes. 
because guys, it's gonna be the next couple days are gonna be crazy. The next couple days are crazy. We have to pack tonight. We have to meet some fun friends of ours tomorrow that you don't know about yet. And then we're leaving at 4 a.m. on Thursday. So we also have to get some sleep tomorrow too. Yep. And I'm going to work tomorrow. Yeah. So. It'll be good. So this is our like last soaking in relaxation. And our last holiday mission. late again but we're home but we are watching well we got it like on the background because we are working she's working I was just doing some clerical work in the uh, second bedroom for the YouTube but look at this because we're busy I, I got you lots of I can tell I, I really appreciate it mm -hmm. so we got packing pack clothes over here Stuff for um, wrapping gifts, and I need to get this girl's gifts still. But these are some gifts that we got in the mail. Look at this cute. Oh, Eve look ornament. at that cute Eve ornament. Do you think Eve will ever get that fluffy? I don't think so. I don't know if we'll let her. Look at this little love. Is it from it, Arkansas? Yeah. Then we got. Yeah. This is going on the fridge right now. Salem, Massachusetts, 1626 with Black Hat Society. Oh, there's also pins. a Route 66 magnet, too. And a Route 66 magnet. And all these pamphlets from Salem, Massachusetts. We really want to go. We really want to go. So thank you for sending us all of this. And I think we're going to bring this to Chicago to, to watch, maybe. Mm hmm. Have you guys ever seen this movie? Let us know down below. It was Michelle's, um, like, their tradition to watch every yeah. Christmas Eve. Yeah, so that's, thank you so much for sharing yeah. all the pamphlets, because we love that. It's going to actually help us, like, I think, a, potentially our first non-Disney trip. Look at my crazy hair. Might be to, like, the Massachusetts area. So thank you. But let us know, um, thank you for sharing your tradition, and let us know down below your Christmas traditions, because we love to hear them all, just because it's, what, six days away? Yeah. So soon. I want to show you guys my new phone case. There's my new phone case. It's like the Illinois stuff that's in the American Adventure Pavilion. And Illinois always gets um, Lincoln's birthplace as its motto. Mm -hmm. This is the birthplace of Walt Disney, but it does say Honest and Able, so that's like Honest Abe. Honest Abe. And then it has Mickey as Walt Disney. So cute. But. We're gonna let you go because it's past midnight again. We have work in the morning and we have packing to do. Indeed. But thank you for enjoying our nice relaxing evening. Yeah. Looking at all the Christmas that was goodness. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, so she's wanted to do it for a long time. It's like since we moved here, she's like, wait, we have to go through Fort Wilderness during Christmas time. But thank you. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.